Good evening. <laughs> uh, hello, YouTube. Good night. I mean, good evening. Listen, I came on here, so now you guys know I'm ghetto as hell because I don't have uh, proper lighting for night filming. I'm just doing this with, 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 this with the desk lamp. But I wanted to come on here because I just saw this movie, Moon uh, Moonlight. Was it Moonlight? Moonlight? Moonlight. Okay, so a friend of mine took me to this movie tonight. And I know by morning I'll, that it, it'll become foggier for me. So I really give, give him a good reaction. So a lot of you guys are going to lo love this movie. Mainly because it's a uh, it's, uh, LGBT black or queer theme. Not now it's unusual. I think I think the story is a little unique because I've never seen drug dealers uh, portrayed as particularly sympathetic characters. So this story, okay, it starts it starts off. So it starts off with this drug dealer, right? It's showing him making a couple deals, whatever. And then uh, there's this kid running past. I'm not gonna spoil the movie. I'm just gonna tell you a couple of highlights. This kid is he's running uh past the situation where the drug dealers make is talking to one of his boys and the kid runs and hides in this uh crack house. He's hiding because he's being chased by these bully kids that are behind him, four or five kids. This is how it starts. And and it's it's about a third of what the movie's about. It's about bullying. So I gotta tell you, it's kinda touched a little closer to home. You know, I'm I'm fifty eight years old, so the the memories I have of of being 10, 11 years old are very vague, but I do this did bring back some uh, uh, unpleasant memories for me. So okay, so they're chasing the kid and, and they're calling him, of course, faggot. Um, just because of what the theme of the movie is, and he's rescued. Well, the the he lost himself in a crack house. The kids run away, and the drug dealer rescues him or takes an interest in him. I got to tell you, I was a little bit uncomfortable because I couldn't tell just by, I couldn't tell exactly what the, the drug dealer's interest was in this kid, and I was hoping it's not going to be some child molesting thing. But it seems like this guy, he's not all bad. Uh, drama always it portray, portrays drug dealers as always being bad characters. So this guy is supposed to be cracking people in the head and shooting them and all this kind of stuff. He wasn't doing that. He was just taking an He was just seeing this kid was being bullied. He goes and pulls the boards off the crack house and they start a friendship. Okay, so the movie is told and, and the three parts, four parts, three parts. It was three segments of, of this kid's life. They show him as, as a kid. I guess he's starting at about 10, 11 years old. Uh, his mother is, is uh, addicted to drugs. This guy sells drugs. Uh, there's a scene between them, but I'm not going to try to spoil this movie because I think a lot of a lot of people who watch me will want to see a mo the movie like this. So I don't want to spoil it. But uh, okay, so then let's fast forward a little bit. The second segment is uh, he's a teenager now. He is still being bullied. He's, so we have to assume now that he has been bullied this whole time. So you would think going into to the thing is that he's there's some kind of femininity about this kid, or something about him which would allow him to be so so heavily bullied, and 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 all of the 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 uh, homophobic slurs that are used against him, but he talks so so little because the, the kid he, it's like you have to coach words out of him, so he doesn't have a lot of dialogue, and so uh, you, we have to assume that it's something about this guy that is gay, but. Uh, any kid can be bullied. All he would have to be is a little smaller than the other kids or a little quieter than the other kids. He can be bullied. So, as a teenager, though, it, it has become... Apparently, he's gay. They're still teasing him. They're taunting him. These same bullies now are about uh, 16, I would say. They're bullying him, bullying, bullying him, chasing him home every day. He's scared to leave school and that kind of thing. And that brought back memories. I, I mean, I wasn't bullied as a teenager, high school, but I was certainly bullied as a little kid. And so I know what that feels like not to want to leave school because somebody wants to kick your ass for no reason at all. So it started off kind of kind of weird for me. And then, uh, <clears throat> so as a teenager, 
Uh, let's try to remember now. Okay, so the mother's a drug addict. She's gotten worse by the time she's a teenager, where she's now just a full-blown crackhead, where she's taking money out of his pocket, whatever little change he has from uh, little side jobs he does. <clears throat> she's like that. She's really kind of crawling on the ground, begging for crack and all that kind of stuff. And this drug dealer now is making the connection that, that uh, he's selling drugs, and this is the other end of it. These are the people you're selling drugs to. But they don't pursue that storyline necessarily. I'm just kind of glad. And I'm not sticking up with drug dealers. But I'll tell you, I was a drug dealer for many years. I went to prison 10 times for dealing drugs. So I know what people think about drug dealers. And there, there's some merit to that. But, I mean, <clears throat> streets are hard. And sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So they're not making these drug dealers like the worst people on earth. Anyway, so they don't, they're not real clear about what happens to, to this, this dealer. I guess he either went to prison or he was killed. But by the time this kid is a teenager, he's out of the picture. We don't see him anymore. So he wasn't trying to molest the kid or anything. It was just he took an interest in the kid and the kid started hanging out with him. But he planted the seed. And you'll see that in the latter part of the movie. Uh, the, I think the trailer kind of gives that away that he becomes that person. I think that's the key thing in this this thing. This kid becomes this drug dealer, even down to the point that he's actually driving his car with the same little emblem the guy used to have in his. He got all the gold teeth, the bling bling. He got the muscles. He becomes this person. So I don't know how much more I can say about this, about this movie, but of course, this is not the primary thing, so I'm not giving that much up. He has one single sexual encounter as a teenager. And that's with this guy who he really likes. They're, they're friends, and they have sex on the beach. So now, uh, when he's an adult, now he goes from a metamorphosis because when he's a teenager, he's still kind of a kind of a skinny, quiet kid. But when he, he goes through a metamorphosis because when he, the next time we, we see him, okay, here's what happened. I'll just say one more thing. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> the bully, you know how, we, we all know how you got to deal with a bully. So after they, these, this reaches a crescendo, where these bullies have beat him down, he takes and he gets his revenge on the primary bully. And that's the way you have to do it. Go after the biggest one and bust his head open. And this is pretty much what happens. So, I said all that to say. We jump all the way now to his, to his adulthood. And when it's adulthood, I didn't know who the character was. But I had to ask the person who was sitting with me, is that is that supposed to be him? Because he went from being a skinny little, scared little quiet kid to this Adonis <laughs> who was cold in the game. So, he... he I'm not going to say any more than that. I think if I say more than that about the story, I'll be giving it away. But I'll say, <clears throat> I do wish the story would have developed the relation. Th those guys end up, that's the love the love interest. One person. There's only two sex scenes in this whole thing. And they're both done with a lot of finesse uh, in class. And I'm going to leave it at that just because I don't want you, I want you to see the movie. So it's called um, Moonlight, and uh, we know we don't get that many movies about, you know, African American gay people in cinema. So I just think we should see it. Uh, it is a well done job. I think the story. I don't even know that. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna really review this thing at this point. Because I, I don't really have a lot of criticism. <clears throat> I will say that I was amazed though. That when the credits came up, when the credits came up, I looked around the audience, and there was only two black people in the audience. Now I'll count it. Maybe there were three in there. Somebody snuck in, but I saw two black people. This was in kind of a bougie cap neighborhood, the Embarcadero here. So this is kind of theater. The only it's only about half the the size of a regular theater, but they have a lot of small theaters. <clears throat> 
and it's in a very, uh, 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 a very nice neighborhood downtown San Francisco. But as far as I know, it's not playing anywhere else. So if anybody's going to see it, they will be seeing it there. So uh, I think we should be have a more of a presence for a movie like that. I would think I was very surprised. I saw this on Sunday, obviously today, and it was uh, <clears throat> in the evening. So perhaps. The, the other shows in the evening or matinees will be different. I don't know. But I'll just say that the, the audience was all white. So, I recommend you go see this movie. It was a good, entertaining time. I was glad to see that they didn't turn every drug dealer into the horrible person. They do show him being a drug dealer, but they show from the beginning of the influence and how he got to be who he was. And that it's not always, it's not always what, everything is not always as it appears. I, I know from years of pretending to be tough. We are in there. I mean, we still, you can be in the streets, but it's a lot, it takes a lot of acting <laughs> and no slip ups. Don't let them catch you slipping. Anyway, so I recommend the movie. I wanted to do this tonight. Well, look, at, it's the, it's the moonlight. So how appropriate. <laughs> Go see this movie, Moonlight. Bye.